Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back. We're looking at question 23 now. Uh, the question 23 on the 2006 grade 8 Gauss paper. In the diagram, the points are evenly spaced vertically and horizontally. A segment AB is drawn using two of the points as shown. Point C is chosen to be one of the remaining 18 points. For how many of these 18 points is triangle ABC isosceles? Hmm. Okay. So, uh, if, if everything's evenly spaced vertically and horizontally, I could actually probably figure out the, the length of AB. And as for our other point C... What can we do? So we've got two, three, four, five, or six. So not certainly not the majority of these 18 points are possible. Uh, for this question, I'm starting to think the answer is either probably going to be six or, or five, one of the higher numbers, just because the only real way I can see to do this is sort of by exhaustion, just to... Uh, Saying, well, this point works, and then this point works, and then this point, oh, okay, so I add them all up, and it's it's 6, or it's 5, or maybe it's 4. Uh, I think if I had to guess, I'd probably say 6. Um, hmm. Isosceles triangle. So, we're going to get an isosceles triangle, and there will be this other point to see. Perhaps I should uh, be copying the grid as I talk. So it's, uh, what, uh, 5 by 4. So 5 across. So we'll get another point C, and that will that should get it, that's it's supposed to get us an isosceles triangle. Uh, now, an isosceles triangle, you hopefully remember, is a triangle where two of the sides are the same length. So the question is, is the length that we're given AB one of those two? I think it was AB looks like that. We'll just double check. Yep. Okay, so B down here and A. So either A B is the double is is the doubled length or it's going to be the base. So uh, we sort of have two cases. A B is the doubled length or, or A B is the base, and then we have to find some other point out here that when I connect them up, we we get the same length, thus giving us an isosceles triangle. Um, I think that's going to be the harder case, so let's see what we can eliminate just by looking at the, the simpler case of AB being the, the part of the, the length that is duplicated. So again, as I said, we could probably determine, I mean, we could get a right angle triangle here and figure out what uh, the length AB is. Uh, so it's two up, one over, so it's going to be root uh, 1 squared plus 2 squared, so root 5. Uh, but really all we need to know is that the only way to get this root 5 length is by going 1 up or down and 2 left or right, or 1 left or right and 2 up or down. That's that's sort of the idea. So that's that's the only way we can get this this length here. So if I want to duplicate uh, this length, and, and maybe our triangle starts at B. Or maybe maybe, maybe the apex is at B, and so uh, BC is equal to AB. Well, what points could I have? Um, so two over and one down, so this would certainly work. This would be a good C. So now our red length and our black length are the same length. So AC is going to have to be uh, the base, and we'll get an isosceles triangle there. What else could I have? I could go two over, two to the right, and two and, and one up. So that would be right here. That's also pretty clearly going to join up and give us an isosceles triangle. Um, I can't go two to the left. I can go two up and one to the right, but that gets me A. 2 up and 1 to the left, and that would get me another good point right there. 
Uh, I can't go two down. I can go one down, and I already did one down and two to the right. One down and two to the left is impossible. So I think that's it. That gives us uh, three points for C, where, where B is the apex of our triangle. So those are our three triangles. I'm going to copy the grid again. So that already means I have three points that work for C. So D is out. We, we can get more than two. Um, I wonder how many we're going to get where A is the apex and whether or not there's going to be any overlap that we need to consider. And then, of course, there's the situation where AB is the base and not the duplicated angle. And that's, I think, going to be tricky or perhaps even impossible. Well, we'll see. So there's A, there's B. Now we're going to do the same thing uh, in orange, but A is going to be our, our, our apex. So we can go uh, two to the right and down one. Um, two to the left and down one. We can't go two to the left and up one. But these are all giving us great ones. Um... One to the left and down two is going to get us back to B. One to the left and down, or sorry, one to the right and down two is going to get us another point. And that gets us three more. And now we've got six, but the, the maximum was six. So the answer's got to be A, provided there isn't any overlap. So uh, that's up from up here. Uh, that's this one, and then down here. Nope, that's six different points for C. I can stop searching. I mean, I know I have another case where AB is the base, but obviously that's not going to work out because that would give us at least seven triangles, and they said at best there can be six. So we're using the multiple choice to our advantage here. I've got six points. Each of them would give us a fine uh, ABC isosceles triangle. That's all it is. I've reached the max. There can't be any more. Otherwise, you know, that's their fault. So uh, that's A. Six points would suffice for C. Okay. Don't need to worry about any other cases. I, I can even stop looking for other ones with A, although I've basically exhausted the list that you can get with A. At uh, six points. Not bad. Kind of a basic question, and it was more just a diagram drawing, but, you know, we, we did split it up into some cases, so not so bad. Uh, that's question 23. In the next video, we're going to take a look at question 24, and then we'll only have one more to go. So I'll see you for question 24 next time.